first thing to do is take the tuna out of the package, wash it a little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dry it. Dry it as much as I can. Let the uh, paper towels soak in a lot because a lot of the moisture is in here from being frozen. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna put this aside. Um, let it, let the moisture come out of it. Good. So there's nice pieces of tuna right there, raw tuna. And I have this basically the sterno um, uh, uh, torch. And that's what I wanna use. I'm just gonna go ahead and torch it uh, all over the place um, and get a nice white layer on top. And then I'm gonna hit it with some sesame, sesame seeds and um, that's gonna do it, okay? So the trick here is you wanna use the blowtorch because it's a lot faster. This is what a lot of restaurants do. Then sear it in a pan where you can, where it's gonna get stuck to the pan. It's gonna stink your house with the, with the fish smell. With this, it's easy. Uh, you can't overcook it. That's the other thing. I mean, it just works a lot better than using um, an actual pan to do. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn the torch on. And basically, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, and give it a nice, nice white color on all around. As you can see, it's turning nice and white. And basically, with this method, you get the best results. And you really can't ruin this. So I'm doing the other side. As you can see, I actually put a a um, aluminum foil because I didn't want to burn my board. I don't know why. I didn't do that before, but yeah, you want to use aluminum foil. Um, that's important. Unless you want to burn your uh, cutting board, which I don't. So you, you can see how nice this looks. I mean, you can't, like I said, you can't overcook this. You can't mess this up, really. And it's okay. You can see over there there's a little black spot. That's okay. That's that's part of it. When you sear, you get a lot more than that. So if there's a, you know, if there's a few spots on the tuna that are like that, a little bit more burnt, it's not a big deal. And then what we're going to do is once this is done, we'll cut this up for you so you can see inside is going to be completely raw still, which is what you want. And like I said, with this, there is no smell from pan searing. Your house is not going to smell like fish. This torch is not really the best torch for this. If you have something that outputs a little bit more flame, then you're good. So it takes me a lot longer to do it with this torch. You can't overcook them with this method. And it just works. So you got three pieces of ahi tuna that are just awesome. And that's basically it. And then what we're going to do is I have some sesame seeds. And we're going to hit it with a little sesame seeds on top and we're gonna cut into them to see what they look like. So here we have it, this is what it looks like. I put a little bit of the uh, mayo that we made earlier, the spicy mayo on top of the ahi tuna. Now I'm gonna hit it up with a little bit of uh, a sesame seeds. So I have some sesame seeds I toasted and that's basically what I'm putting all around it. Just for a little garnish and crunch. So I just cut into it to get an idea of what it looks like, but you can see inside. It's still totally uh, pink, and the outside is cooked, uh, and that's basically what you want. Inside is nice and pink, outside is cooked. A nice pink center, you can't mess this up. All right, hopefully this works out for you. Uh, using the torch is a lot easier than hand searing it, and uh, making the sauce is really quick. The spicy mayo is just basically mayo, shahashka, a little bit of lime, a little bit of soy sauce, and then you got this over here, which is a ponzu sauce basically lime, soy sauce, a little bit of fresh ginger, and it goes a long way. All right, hope you uh, try it out and uh, enjoy.